I'm a researcher here at Bar Ilan University. I did my undergrad studies at Tel Aviv University, then I continued to pursue a PhD at Tel Aviv University, and then I moved to Harvard to do my postdoctoral work, working on the microbiome and how the microbiome affects our physiology and health. And in 2022, I came back to Israel and joined the faculty here at Bar Ilan University. We are researching the gut microbiome. We are doing it in two parallel aspects currently. One is looking at how the diet interacts with the gut microbiome and how this interaction, whether it's metabolic or otherwise, affects our physiology and health. The gut microbiome is the composition of all the bacteria, archaea, viruses, protozoa, and other microbes that we have in our gut. So we studied the microbiome in context to chronic kidney disease, which is a debilitating disease and progressive that once a patient was diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, the end uh, stage of the disease is usually dialysis and kidney transplant. What we found is that through diet, you can modulate the activity of bacterial enzymes in the gut that produce a uremic toxin that damages the kidney. In animal models, we've shown that if you modulate the diet, you can modulate the disease outcome in those animals. And as a translational approach, you can think about it in humans. If you use specific inhibitors for these bacterial enzymes, then you might alleviate the disease in patients. Another aspect of the microbiome that we are really fascinated by is the role that the microbiome plays in tumor initiation and tumor progression. We have a very exciting project collaboration with the Shiba Medical Center, where we look at the urinary microbiome of prostate cancer patients. If we can find differences in the urinary microbiome between prostate cancer patients and healthy controls, we can maybe develop novel diagnostic tools to identify prostate cancer, and that will help millions of men worldwide to have better early detection of prostate cancer and thus better treatment. A second project that we have with the gut microbiome and cancer patients is with a melanoma patient cohort that undergo combined immunotherapy. We know that some of the patients responded to the immunotherapy. Some patients did not respond, so their tumors progressed. And what we also know from previous studies is that the microbiome has a role in modulating the response to immunotherapy. So the approach that was taken by several groups already was to look at the composition of the microbiome, performing metagenomics. We are taking it into a higher biological level, looking at the protein level. The uniqueness of our lab is that we take metaproteomic approaches. Metaproteomics is looking at the total protein that is found in a sample, and that entails all the proteins of the microbiome. There is no lab in Israel that is doing it, and there are very few in the world that are currently doing it. I hope that our metaproteomic approach will become the standard approach to study the gut microbiome, and how we want to affect human health is by developing novel therapeutic avenues, either by developing molecules that affect the microbiome. So for example, instead of eating a specific diet, you can just take a molecule that is as potent as the diet. And regarding cancer, we want to be able to produce novel therapeutics that could help with the survival of uh, cancer patients. I was really fortunate to be nominated and then awarded the Zuckerman Scholar Fellowship. This fellowship not only comes with a substantial financial support to start the lab, but also gives you kind of a stamp that your research is important and hopefully will propel your career. <laughs>